What up folks, I'm Ultrazone. Today I have a review, the Transformers Authentics. I don't know why they call them Authentics. Optimus Primal. Uh, that's alright my zillions. This is a cheapo Optimus Primal that I got at five below. But I think they show up in other places too. Um, who knows where, but uh, probably some other cheapo places. But five below is where I got it. It transforms in nine uh, steps. This is the little box. This is one of the only ones I've really been interested in on this line. I, I do think I have the older Grimlock from this. And maybe an Optimus. Probably an Optimus. <laughs> maybe a B2. I don't know. Uh, but I did get this guy because, you know, Optimus Primal is pretty awesome. And it does look like this robot mode is not bad. So, without any further ado, let's get this review. And here is probably he's a lot smaller than I expected. Um, from how he looked in the package, he, he's just a little bit smaller. Um, you know, this this is an interesting figure. I, I don't know if it's a good figure, but it's an interesting figure. Unfortunately, it is a little bit loose. L little jangly. Um, not like super loose, but like jangly in the... The material is definitely a cheaper material than uh, you used to with like regular Transformers. Uh, but it isn't the worst looking thing and it's not something I'm going to toss to the side. You know, he'll he'll definitely stand amongst my, my primals. He's got some cool things. He's got a nice sculpt. Look at the sculpt on the uh, arms here. Pretty decent. He's got like gun blasters. He's got hands, he's got a big old hole here, but what are you going to do about that? It's not like this even goes in or anything, but... Uh, then he's got molded detail up here and on the shoulder. Then he's got some little bit of diecast content, how about that? Uh, then he's got a blue chest that's actually decently sculpted. Uh, the upper legs are decently sculpted and painted silver. That looks pretty good. Uh, the knees are painted red and that looks pretty good. And the bottom of the legs, not so bad on the sculpt. He does have hollowness in the back, and you see the big old ball joints there. But then he's got some sculpt work back there, which is interesting and uh, kind of unexpected. Um, even sculpt work back here. This part's sculpted. He's got some guns here, but they're not the usual type of guns we see on Primal, where these would flip over his shoulder. Nope. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second, though, because first, we're going to look at the head sculpt, which is actually pretty decent, too. He's got the silver face with the red eyes. It's kind of dull red, but it works. And then the rest is done in blue plastic. Uh, but it doesn't look terrible, I gotta say. I mean, this isn't the worst, like I alluded to in the beginning, this isn't the worst robot mode I've ever seen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For a primal. Um... This is this is pretty decent. I I, I dig it. Uh, we're gonna keep it right here and uh, show you articulation. Head moves like so. Body moves like so. Shoulders move like so, which is pretty decent. Um, no elbow movement really. You this is like ball jointed in, and that that's all it's doing. Unfortunately, no wrist. Uh, then the legs. You're not getting much of a split out of that. And then it kicks forward, goes back. Uh, you do have a little bit of rotation in there. The knee moves pretty far back, which is pretty good. And then the feet are on ball joints. So, you know, I mean, yeah, look. It's a cheapo transformer, you know? It it definitely has more articulation that you would expect from a cheapo transformer. Uh, so, I don't mind it. Really, I don't. Oh, and we saw these guns here. Uh, so, instead of them, like, being the usual flip guns, they actually come out as um little little guns for his hands how about that they're kind of soft ish plastic so you know do be mindful of that but they don't go in very well either so <laughs> is that too so it doesn't look very good and i i don't really see when optimus prime will ever did anything like this pew 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 is definitely the sound these would make <laughs> But you know, sculpt work, it, it isn't terrible on them. For a more a proper look, I would suggest putting them back like so, though. Definitely. As for your size comparisons, uh, 
Did I just bring out my full gamut of uh, Optimus Primal figures? Uh, possibly, unless we're counting some uh, other Primal Primes and stuff like that. And uh, but yeah, uh, these guys, these these guys uh, are pretty cool. I love me some Primal. Um, you know, I, I like this guy better than this one, at least that's for sure. <laughs> But, you know, uh, we've had some good primals this year, so, yeah, not so shabby. But with that all said, there's only one thing left to do, and that's Maximar! And for better or worse, here is uh, Optimus Primal in girl mode. And I actually really like this head sculpt. Um, that looks pretty good, I gotta say. Uh, that's not bad at all. I, I like this head sculpt. It's very nice. I like the eyes. It's painted cleanly. The features look really good. Then you got some nice features on his chest. It's just done in gray, but who cares? It looks good. <laughs> it does. And then, you know, you got the usual primal tropes on how they do transformations and you know it's just very easy these come down those go there the legs do something like that so you have the little toes in front that's what the toes look like those are pretty good you know this just slides to the back to cover up something or other uh i did have it weird <laughs> during the transformation but i don't know i was blanking um uh, i don't know why i was blanking but i was but yeah it, it's not, <laughs> it's not great, but it's not terrible. I'm not going to go over the articulation again. It is what it is. These you could flip around if you want in this mode. And, uh, you know, now he has some blasters and that looks pretty good. So yeah, it's a thing you could do. It's a thing you could do. He's got fur. He looks good. He's got these things jutting out, but whatevs. Um, yeah, it's an Optimus Primal. I mean, they're never good in Gorilla mode. <laughs> But there you go. And for your size comparison in this moment, I'm not going crazy. Here he is uh, with uh, that other really bad Optimus Primal that we got <laughs> recently. Uh, and you know what? Here, here is a uh, reaction figure Grimlock. And you know what? Here is uh, Baby Stegosaurus. Because why not? Oh, wait. You want alt modes? Here's Optimus with more of this webbing that will be haunting me forever. Uh, but there you go. There's... Some, some size comparisons for you. And my final thoughts, you know, for a cheapo figure, cheapo primal, this isn't terrible. Like, I don't hate it. It's got some paint, you know, it's got some articulation. It's got accessories. The transformation is what I come to expect from an Optimus Primal, you know, simplified a bit, but it's pretty much the same as we've seen a million times over. Um, it's not terrible. It, it, it'll it be fine in my Optimus Primal collection. That's why I, I got it, because I like Primal. I don't have a huge collection, but I don't think there's a huge amount of them out there. Um, you know, third party notwithstanding, which I haven't really delved into. But this guy's cool. Um, not bad for five bucks, right? I, I think it works for five bucks. Some hollowness here and there, but whatever. It's five bucks. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Uh, and there you go. That, that's my review. <laughs> Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection with, you know, some cheapo stuff too. Till next time, peace out peeps.